first time watching House of the Dragon. We're in season two, episode two. This one is called. Actually, I don't know what it's called. That's not the title. The title is Rhaenyra the Cruel. Yeah, yeah. Cruelty all around. Anyways, there's a lot to discuss about the last episode, but before we do that, though, I want to ask you guys a teeny tiny little question. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. My name's Afan. I'm doing just lovely, and welcome to the channel! <sighs> okay. High energy, high tempo, high cringe. Let's do this. So yeah, last episode ended on quite a shocker. Uh, the events of blood and cheese, of course. I am glad that they didn't sh actually show the thing, but the noise is, oh my goodness, the noise is, oh no. Yeah, um, and then Helena's, uh, Helena's, I know it's Helena, by the way, I'm just gonna say Helena, because whatever, man. <laughs> Her reaction to it was so good. Like, the actress is really good, you know what I mean? Like, I actually felt her pain in that moment. But I do want to talk about something, something that I did not catch the first time I was watching it, and I realized that as I was editing was, you know, Damon does say a son for a son to Rhaenys at the start of the episode, and of course the episode is called a son for a son as well, but Rhaenyra never said a son for a son. She said, I want Aemond. That's all she said. In fact, that was the only thing she said in the entire episode. And then those guys say, well, he said a son for a son. <coughs> wow. That was bad. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah, those guys, blood and cheese. Uh, they said that, well, actually, which one said it? I think it was the, I don't know. One of them said, he said son for a son. So he did say that uh, them, a son for a son, if you do not find Aemon, he gives him a look, which I thought means, no, 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 there's no you not finding Aemon. You're going to find Aemon. That's what I thought it, that look meant. But no, apparently he just told him, I just grab a, another son. Son for a son, innit? Now, did Rhaen Rhaenyra say that? Or is Daemon just going around making stuff up? Because that's Daemon, you know? I totally believe he would do that. He's a loony. He just does what he wants. Do you know what I mean? Season one is a great example of him just being reckless and doing things because he wants to. Do you know what I mean? And not really caring or having that much of a regard for others. So I totally believe that he just took the initiative in his hand and, you know, just did it that way. How exactly is going to Rhaenyra going to... Whoa, whoa, lovely. I cannot speak today. How exactly is Rhaenyra going to react to that? I'm very much looking forward to that. And how exactly are the, the auto... Uh, Autobahn, the uh, auto, Ottomans or whatever. Auto, no, Otto is the guy. High towers, you know, that part of the Targaryens. How are they going to take all of this? Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. One little thing before I get into it, though. If you want to see the full length reaction, unedited thing, and also these videos early, you can see it on my Patreon link in the description. Check it out. Thank you so much, every single one of you for supporting. Now let's get into it. Without any further ado, here we go. Also, do let me know if there's uh, anything you'd like me to see, like movies, shows, whatever, really. And I'll give him a look, you know? Uh, and then go ahead and subscribe, if you haven't already, of course. So, now you can see him when I upload him. Alright, I'm gonna watch this intro very carefully. I did the first time too, and there's a lot going on there. Some of which I understand, some I don't quite. So far it's pretty much the same intro as before, because the intro they had in season one kept adding layers with each episode. There's a guy named Crispin Green in the cast. Because, you know, Crispin Cole. Sorry, that's not his name. Krusty Crunchy. What's it? Crispy Crunchy. What does he call him? Something, man. Yeah, this is... Uh, unless I'm missing something, this is very much the first... Yeah. This is uh, pretty much the same as the first intro, so far at least. Right. Right near at Dragonstone. Aegon at the Red Keep. On the throne. Yeah, yeah, this is basically the same as the first episode. Hey, cool, it's a very cool intro. Just nothing new this time around. Tapestry, would you like to take a look at the <laughs> tapestry? <laughs> I miss Viserys, man. He was great. 
Ooh, here we go. Oh no. Oh, they're they're basically taking everyone. Cause they don't know who did it. Well, Helena saw who did it. It was kind of dark though. Oh, by the way, I see dogs. Why didn't they use a cat for the rats? The catchers, you know, they were using a dog. Or maybe the dog was just a pet. There he is, crusty crunchy. Ignoring his duty. Well, kill them! I'll kill them all! Strike is a killer! They die striking me! Grace, I am Grace. the king! The Sarah spends so much time on that. Yes, you are. War! I declare war! If only this is how you felt when Rhaenyra's son was killed. Not saying that diminishes anything. I'm just saying, like, quite a bit of contrast, you know? There he is. You did this, brother. You did this. You one-eyed bastard! I love the fact that there's a tunnel drawn on it. Well, there's a whole... Wow, okay, it's not just a tunnel. It's a whole thing. The child. The child is dead. His pain is ended. But what have you done to, to, to Micah? Yes. Elena, yeah. I'm thinking about her too, like... She, she saw, like, she saw it all happen. And... Oh, she had to choose. It's not who must be blamed. The gods punish us. They punish me. Oh, or they're getting crusty with it. I'm sorry. And where were you? The Lord Commander of my King's Guard. He was <laughs> doing his duty. Literally doing his duty. Instead of safeguarding the sanctity of my family. Well. Oh, wow. That uh, could have been taken uh, in a couple of ways, you know? Protecting the sanctity of his family. Ooh, he doesn't even know the double meaning. Cunt of Dragonstone! There she sits across the bay on her rock, laughing at me. She's fucking laughing at me! I don't think she would, even if she knows, do you know what I mean? Which I don't know if she knows. The guard has detained someone. The man we apprehended is known to us. It's a gold cloak. They found him! For his brutal nature. Oh, no. The gods with the child's head in a sack. What the f- I'll kill him myself. We do well to get what information we <sighs> We know our enemy! A king may have more than one enemy, your grace. We would do well to ascertain if this is your sister's hand. That's true. Or if there is a serpent nestled closer to our bosoms. I suppose you're right, Ironrod. Could be anyone. It could be any one of you in this room. <laughs> the look he gave him. I will not be seen as weak. You're already seen as weak, Aegon. <laughs> ah! They whisper in the streets. They say perhaps Rhaenyra should be queen. So you would name her monster, slayer of inf- Wow, the propaganda had be begun already. Progress. Let them see the child. Whoa, let them look without- Oof. This pretender to the throne. Oh, damn it, can you let the child rest in peace, man? Those who declared for Rhaenyra, will they still support her when they hear of her depravity? Or will they rather not renounce her? Jaehaerys will do more for us now than a thousand knights in battle. He is always thinking. You gotta give him that. And riding behind him, his mother the queen, and with her the queen dowager. The realm must see the sorrow of the crown. A sorrow best expressed through its most gentle son. Mmm. The women. Oh, man. Oh, it's Helena. Oh, my goodness. Oh. There's to be a funeral for Jaehaerys. Told you. The rats. It's afraid of him. I don't want to. Neither do I. Mm. Nothing like this happens. A blow to the king is a blow to the realm. People share our grief. They draw closer to us. But I don't want them closer. I don't know them. That's... The actual body. Why oh, is it gonna make me cry? I swear to God, this is just this is. Was that the? Oh my God! Was that the actual body? Was that? Please tell me that was something else. The head was moving entirely separately from the body. Oh no! Oh. 
I was, I was hired by Damon Targaryen and he paid us half now. A rat catcher. Yeah, okay, that is, oh my goodness. You can see, oh no. Targaryen! Oh no. No, 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 the head movement. How did they do that, by the way? Rhaenyra the Cruel. He's still got the marks. I cannot vouch for his grace. He's here? Aegon's? Oh, no. Oh, lovely. Wow, they're just... Instead of focusing on the child, they're not... Like, it's not about the child at all. It's not at all. They're talking about Rhaenyra constantly. Just Rhaenyra the Cruel, Rhaenyra the Pretender, the Kinslayer, the... Relax, man. Oh no. A curse! A curse of Rhaenyra! The monstrous. There she is, the monster. Clear how the cruel. I was gonna say the kid's head reminded me kind of like, you know, that little bobblehead toy. Oh my. Having lost my own son, that I would inflict on Helena of all people. Exactly! Thank you, someone said it. <laughs> Helena of all people. The death of Prince Viserys. Because he had said to her, a son for a son. Oh, you little... <laughs> that, that little eye, oh. Seek relief and retribution. Are you suggesting, Sir Alfred, that my grief drove me to order the decapitation of a child? Just mind yourself. Huh. <laughs> He was ready. He's finding all of this amusing. The children in their beds. I sent the Queen's vengeance for her son. What did you tell this vengeance? I was clear in my instructions. Aemond, the brother of Aegon the Usurper. Wait. Responsible Cannot be responsible. Well, you are responsible. This guy, I swear. If Aemond was not to be found. What were your instructions? A son for a son. Said that it was your aim to spill Hightower blood. If not Aemond, then anyone would do You have wounded me. My standing among my own council. I said. I don't believe you. I don't believe him either. Well, we didn't actually see him say it, so. We did heard them say it. Why would they lie about such a thing? So he obviously said it. Never trusted you wholly. As I wished to, willed myself to. But now I have seen that your heart belongs only to you. And when I was a child, I took this as a challenge. But I'm older now. I have challenges enough. I have served. <laughs> I can change him. <laughs> Lovely. You think me some kind of monster. Oh, I don't know. What well. <laughs> I'm not on my way even now to Harrenhal to raise an army in your name, Rhaenyra. Yours. He you should be. Because whatever, like, I get it, it's messed up, but, but you gotta start preparing. Because you knew your legacy, unlike mine, would never outshine his own. He was not afraid of you! He could not trust you! Same as she cannot he trust you. Can trust hey, there it is. Your greatness, but shrank from spilling blood to achieve it, and I see you will suffer the same fate. You struck down a child. It was a mistake. He can't even take responsibility. Like, just own it. Like, it happened. I know it's horrible, but it happened already. Can we move on? You know what I mean? Like, don't be so stubborn. Like, she needs help. Support her. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. He really would not make a good leader. Like, not taking responsibility for your actions? Yeah, nah. Just stop lying, dude. Like, it's pissing me off. Take Moondancer and keep a watch on King's Landing. I must know which course they take next. Stay high and keep your distance. Mm, I was gonna say, they might. Afford no further mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's on him. Oh, in full armor. Damn, that's quite an armor. That's basically, dra it looks like a dragon, dude.
Oh, come on, fam. Let's console her a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, if you please, my lord. By the way, there were no other guards. Like, yeah, I'm blaming Krusty Crunchy because we don't like him, but like, he can't be everywhere all at once. There has to be other guards. Who, who was supposed to be guarding them and why weren't they there? Or was he the one who was actually supposed to be there? Have you told anyone? What do you take me for? <laughs> A prostitute? Absolutely. There is none for what I've done. You're like, come on, it wasn't that bad. Is he gonna go in there? Well, is he gonna go in there literally and metaphorical? Oh no, are they gonna do it again? Oh, I might. Uh, okay. I gotta say, it's very tense, and of course it would be after such events, but the camera work really makes it that much more tense, like the shots going around the corners. We saw a couple of shots going around this fence thingy like you were seeing through it, you know what I mean? It's kind of creepy and sinister in a way. What is this? It's a reminder of yesterday, I think. The procession was muddy. Do it now. The night was long, so good. The white cloak is a symbol of our purity, our fidelity. Kings guard are a sacred trust. We so easily sully our ancient honor. Crispy, crunchy dog. He's the one who sullied it. And you were not in the private quarters where you might have prevented the crime. His grace wished to entertain his companions in the throne room. And if you had thought to go upstairs, where were you? Oh, commander. Exactly. And why has Helena the Queen been granted no small protector? Crispy Krusty, come on then. First your brother betrays us, and then the young prince is murdered on your watch. You are mad, sir. Mad, you cannot think what that I, I did think this. has no relevance. I've brought disgrace upon our rank, and now you... He's just putting his guilt on him, right? Because from what we're hearing, he actually did his duty. Well, to, in fairness, the other guy did his duty too. His duty. The, look, the queen is his duty, and he was doing it. The castle is defended against all enemies, now especially. How would I enter? Your twin serves there at the pleasure of the so-called queen. They will mistake you for him if you play the part. Oh, that's very smart. Put down the pretender and you will end a war before it begins. You would send me to my death. Or to triumph. Now will you go? Or must I question your loyalty to the king? Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's the color of the cloak or whatever. Yeah, that, that. Yep. That's what sullies the or whatever. I don't even know what half the words they're using. Man, I'll be very honest. English isn't my first language, man. I apologize. And to Harwin Strong. Huh. He loved us. Of course he did. I miss Luke. Yeah. Well. I thought that was Elaine. I'm like, what is what's happening here? Oh. Okay. She looks so much like Helena, doesn't she? Is that Eamon? I think it is. In truth, I am proud, and he considers me such a foe. Boy is grown into a man. Yeah, yeah. Not here. I would remind you only that when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer small fat like me. How was she? That is very true. So he's saying comfort in... Hmm. That's quite interesting, you know. It's kind of like a motherly figure. I suppose he never really spent that kind of time with his own mother. It's because of like duty and all that honor and this, that, and the other. Like I get it, but like you're human beings at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You need emotional support. You need, you know, you need so many things and, and they're just being deprived of it. I can't blame anyone for doing what I myself would do if I could. I don't think you let children go hungry while you fill your own cellars. Lucky we don't have enough coin to find out. The king has promised us some. I was going to say, that's, I, 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 he seems familiar. That's the guy who asked for the coin. You or your great adventures have done nothing for your looks. <laughs> well met, brother. After many months away. To serve with a sea snake is to make your fortune. Had I such a chance, I would leap out. There is a war brewing. Mm. Now the Saris is dead and all claims are in doubt. You don't think Damon will challenge her? Not as such. But neither can he allow her to command it. Pity. I have an occasion found that to be... Quite enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> if he can take Harren Hall, all may well be forgiven. Lady Massaria, Your Grace. So many scrolls. I know you are entwined with the usurper, but you aided them in denying me my birthright. I took profits from an inevitability. 
I regret it now. <laughs> now that I'm here. <laughs> I gave Damon two name bits, and I did not wish to do that much. He said it was the price of my freedom. And she's not free. Does he say otherwise? He's gone. He does do that, doesn't he? You remember me now. Hmm. He said he would marry you. He said you carried his child. Not everyone found the jest funny. <laughs> I was brought to Westeros with nothing. I sold my own body for coin or bread. And I listened. I made myself valuable to powerful men. A home. And they set it all aflame. Who did? The high tower. The hand did not like it when I showed my teeth. Mm, right, they had a meeting too. Damon, Otto High Tower makes no difference. They will never accept me. Mm. Might as well have remained a whore. She's hearing it. Ooh, I think she's hearing. How did you get that scar? Two women trying to make it through this world, trying to make it through life. Okay. Crabs. Oh, lovely. Wasn't there like a crab guy, crab king or something? Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Like. Oh, lovely. What'd I do? He doesn't know. Oh, that's the one! The doggo. Oh, that he had a dog. He kicked him too. Oh, doggo. So they got both of them. Lovely. What have you done? The rat catchers! I had them hanged. The maggot who took my son confessed to an accomplice. Did not say for certain which man it was. Idiot! You didn't let him speak. The king! Is my grandson, and my grandson is a fool. He's worse than a fool. He's murdered innocent men and hanged them from the walls of the city for all to see. Yeah, you're you're playing the the innocent card. And brothers and sons. Yeah, there you go. News of Rhaenyra's monstrous crime spreads through the realm. The great houses falter. They cannot but come to our side. I wish to spill blood, not ink. We must act. A Kristen Cole has acted. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't know about Irvin. Or which one was it? I don't know one of them. Has a Kristen Cole done? You sent Sir Eric to slay Rhaenyra. Eric, okay. Alone. <laughs> yep. Do you never think of your father? Forbearance, his judiciousness, mm. dignity. Fuck dignity. <laughs> I want revenge. Lovely. My father is dead. He is, and we are the poorer for it. Yeah. He died after a peaceful reign. You know, he built that thing in his reign, the one that you broke, which is, like, I think, kind of like uh, symbolism. I think it's showing that the peace is gone, you know? But he was right about you. Made me king. No, he didn't. <laughs> this guy actually believed is that. that? What you think? Yeah, exactly. Little boy. Sit down. <laughs> Remove your badge, Sir Otter. You are my father's hand. Mm hmm. Not mine. Yeah, people had been chirping. People had been chirping in the previous episode. You wouldn't dare. I have dared. Insolent pup. You think yourself clever, but without a strong hand at your side. Guide. Give it to Cole. Get the f <laughs> What? In this hour, you have proven yourself of more worth than a hundred old men. <laughs> My new hand. Be a and there's my whore Mike who keeps taking her clothes off. Oh man. Give it to him. You are dismissed. <laughs> cool, dude. Didn't even close the door. Wow, lovely. I do not know if I trust you, and I sense that there is danger in you yet. But I will keep the word of my house if you say that it was given. You're free. Let me go. <laughs> There's a Valarian ship in the harbor bound for Mir by way of Pentos. They're gonna have her followed. They're gonna have her followed. I'm yeah? not on world list to let you fly free. Is my guy Damon gonna succeed? That's the other one. That's the other one. She's gonna. Oh, cause she was nice to her. So she's gonna go back to her. A moment. Uh, ah! Let's go! Dude, she's smart. Oh, let's go. This guy and his hair, man. 
punch my hand way too hard. I, I need to relax. <laughs> The thing about them is that they wear so much armor you can barely see them. I think the... I forgot her name. The girl noticed that he was inside. He was with her. You know? So, like, how can he be in two places at the same time? It's him. He's him. Wow. Bro, at least cut your hair or something, so there's some difference. <laughs> She's like, you bitch, can you stop? Please try and lay down <laughs> She keeps walking away from me. She's like, you know what? The, the high towers are right. You are a bitch queen. <laughs> can you stay still, please? Let me do my job. Oh, no. Is she good with the sword? I mean, regardless, she's not gonna be that good. She defeat like a knight. It's been a strange day. I'm restless. I will stand this evening's duty. Their voice is the same, too? So, Eric... Leave me. I had no choice. I don't understand. Brother! Do not do this. I beg you. Whoa. You are the one who betrayed us, Eric. Battle of the what brothers? Ba twins? We had a battle of the bastards, now we've got a battle of the twins. Twinsies! Bro, I swear if they kill Elinda, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, and you too! Because what if uh, the other one does, the one that's on your side? You gotta get out of here, man. You know what I mean? Like, then you're all on your own with him. Dude, run, run! Don't stop, keep running, get up and run. This is just sibling rivalry, this is normal. Run, ignore this. We were both together. You partied us! But I still love you, brother. So that one, the one that's down on the other side is the one, is running hers one. <laughs> oh no. Okay, they got him. Alright then, nothing to worry about. They got the bad one. He's not bad, you know, but you know what I mean. This was such a well shot scene, by the way. Like the, the, just no... No music other than just the sounds of the swords clanging. Your Grace. Eric. Forgive me. No. No. It is ignorance to do that Egon must be kept in check, as does Sir Christian, the two of them together. Sir Christian is not temperate, but his devotion cannot be questioned if it does come to war. He's ensured it. Killed his brother, eh? Young his twin brother, nonetheless. Nothing to do. This now not for the good of the realm, but for the petty satisfaction of vengeance. I can't stay here. Wow. Oh, it's too good. I'm not even listening to this conversation. Like, I don't even care, bro. Still thinking about the twins. Especially Sir Eric. We are not peacocks. All shrieking and feathers. <laughs> but we will yet prevail and bring forth peace. I still believe. As long as you and I hold fast. I have sinned. Yeah, everyone does. He's actually showing emotion. <laughs> She's as surprised as I am, to be honest. Which is, I mean, I don't know why I kind of thought he was kind of heartless. But of course he isn't. Oh! Nice. That's turning him on. <laughs> Did she hit him because she just likes it that way, or did she hit him because she... she obviously blames herself, but she blames him too? Probably. That's the end. All right. Bloody brilliant episode. Wow, this was a loaded episode. Holy shit.
Uh, if you want to see the full interaction, you can on Patreon. And also, I upload these uh, early there. So, yeah, you can see the first Patreon. Wow, yeah, this is quite an episode. There's a lot going on with Damon. There's a lot going on with everyone. Damon, I don't I don't know how to feel about him. He's, he's a weird one. Like, he just does what he wants. He's always done what he wanted. He's, regardless of the consequences... He's refusing to take responsibility as well. He's just lying, which achieves nothing. Like, everybody knows this is how you are, dude. Like, just just admit it to Rhaenyra at least. Give her some comfort, some peace. She needs it. Like, come on. She's been through so much already. And now you're acting like a child, too. Like, can can you just, like, stop thinking about yourself for once and think about the how much... Your actions are impacting others. I love how there that in that one scene she was like, I knew that when I was young too, but I thought I, I saw it as a challenge. I'm like, oh, I can fix him. Oh no. Having seen Game of Thrones, it's the fighting within the family that obviously brings the downfall of the Targaryens, but it that's not it. See, like I said, having seen Game of Thrones, it is the fight fighting within the families that bring all the families down, all of them. And it is the unity within houses that brings all of them up. And that's that's what's going on right now here. So it's pretty clear which way it's going to ha- uh, go. I, I can't even imagine what Helena is thinking. I can't even imagine what Aegon is thinking. I'm, I'm really, I'm, it's kind of weird to say that I'm glad to see him grieving. But I am, because that means that he obviously cares. And like I said, he comes across as someone who simply does not care. Even in that moment when him and Helena are, you know, they're crossing, he just looks at her and just leaves. Like that, right right there, now, like right now, would be the time that you are required by Helena the most, I would imagine, like ever. Like ever, ever, do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, he's kind, he comes across kind of heartless, but we saw him dealing with the people and being all like kind to them. And obviously we see how much he cares about his children, which is v- once again, very good to see. Of course he's grieving and he's in pain and that's not good to see, but you know what I mean? I mean, he is a human after all, you know, can't just be devoid of emotions. Like it's kind of like Damon, like, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's careless and he does what he wants, but he did have love in his heart for his brother and he does have love for Rhaenyra as well. Is it enough, though? Like, their actions, is it enough to just have something inside your heart but then do these things that end up hurting those people that you have something for in your heart? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a weird one. But it it's... Yeah, th- that was a very bad, a very, very foolish decision to get rid of Otto. I mean, Laris talked to him about Otto before as well, so the, the plot was there already. The plotting had begun in the first episode against Otto. But I don't know if uh, Laris... I was going to say, I don't know if Laris was hoping for Crispy Crunchy to be the Hand of the King, but I I don't know if he would mind, because I think Crispy Crusty, of all people, is going to be quite easy to manipulate. You know what I mean? For Laris, uh, at least. So he might not mind at all. He might be like, well, I can easily manipulate this fella. I love the fact that Alison really cared about Helena in this one. Like, I feel so bad for Helena. Like, she's so innocent. And Rhaenyra said this too. Like, I would like, I would do this and then I would do this to Helena of all people. Like, are you stupid? I'm glad <laughs> they're acknowledging that. That, the, you know, she's really innocent. Like, she is like innocent beyond imagination you know what i mean like she does not belong in this world to be very frank she does not belong in this world and she's a dreamer like viserys so yeah listen to what she has to say guys hey guy <laughs> listen to her aemon taking comfort in a, a another woman a woman that's a bit older as well and a woman that he's not exactly there for she, she is a prostitute but that's not exactly why he's there. It's quite interesting because Alison has always been this 
woman of duty and you know i'm gonna do you know what i mean like you gotta be this way and that way and the other even in that moment when she's explaining to helena she knows this is wrong and she knows it shouldn't be done but you know she has to do it she has to play the part you know so I, it just made me think like was she never really this close with the children because we saw her she was actually pretty good with the children but maybe not i don't know uh, amond is missing that you know that uh motherly figure it would seem she's having mommy issues clearly so that's pretty interesting but oh by the way speaking of the funeral the way they had the body moving like it's realistic but like these guys like relax dude like it was even now when i think about it i'm like what i mean they showed it the hat the head was like oh Oh, remind me it was sometimes they they try to be too realistic it's okay to be a little fake sometimes like come on guys come on helena not feeling comfort outside i mean that's helena she's not comfortable with anybody around and why would she be i mean all her life she's kind of been looked down upon by people because of the way she is and also like literally just some random people came into her house killed ch Force her to pick a child of her own to be killed in front of her own eyes. And now you're putting her in the middle of these people, random people. How, for even, a, even someone who's like an extrovert, someone who's not like her, wouldn't feel safe in that situation, let alone someone like her, John. I mean, that was just so stupid. But again, propaganda, so they had to use it. And then Aegon did his best to ruin that too. I loved Otto, like, just cooling this little... Oh, sometimes I hate him so much. Just, just like, putting him in his place like you insolent pup. It is also quite clear from the actions of Aegon, but also from the actions of Daemon, that the men... And it was actually something that Rhaenys touched on in the previous episode as well, talking about how men, are, particularly or generally speaking, in this world are more impulsive and you know they can make rash decisions in the moment sort of thing whereas the women have to bear the brunt of it and we saw that with Rhaenyra too right it took her a very long time to come to a decision she didn't just do it and even when she did she was very precise with her words I want Aemon she did not say I want war she did not say I want babies or anything like that Aemon this guy did this thing this guy and this guy only is whom I want. So, and, you know, you then have Aegon as well, killing that dude before he even talked. Do you know what I mean? Just killed him. And he's like, oh, he didn't, he thought he couldn't remember. No, he didn't say that. You didn't let him say anything. Well, that's another thing. The whatever information they got, they got before he came. So even if he had come before that, they wouldn't even have gotten that information because you would just killed him right then and there. So again, you know, it's just the mistakes of these people that their rashness, the impulsiveness of these men in this realm. And then obviously that's by a lady making quite a good point there as well, fitting in a world where you would be accepted, but they would never see you for anything other than just a whore, you know. I think Rhaenyra heard that. Like, Rhaenyra really heard that, like, ooh, bitch, you want to something, you know? But I, I did like the feel of this episode overall. It felt really creepy, and it felt insecure, like all the areas. And it should, because, of course, there's a threat to, uh, well, we saw already to the, the high tower part of Targaryen. But then there's obviously a threat now to the actual well i don't want to say actual they're both targaryens but you know what i mean like Rhaenyra part of targaryen especially after this episode since uh in this episode since you know sir one of the twins was supposed to kill Rhaenyra, and the way they shot that like those pov sort of shots like following people around and going around the corners and stuff like they really really made it look that much more like creepy you know what I mean? Like someone's looking in, do you know what I mean? That sort of feeling we got. Now, we'll end it on the Battle of the Twins, the Battle of the Brothers. It was very emotional. It was so well shot. I, I love the fact that they just didn't put any music or anything like that. It was just a clanging of the swords and obviously their own 
noise that they were making as they were fighting and that's it because that made it so much personal and so much emotional of course then we saw the end they did not kill each other but if you think about it they kind of killed each other yeah he got him eric got him but he got him too you know could not live for himself knowing that he had slain his kin kin slaying obviously it's not something good people can live with or do and that was a fine example of it because he was good you know the both of them were good you know both of them were good they were just on different sides but they were both good they were both doing what they they sworn to do and were doing their duty and they were doing it well you know crispy crunchy was trying to put all the blame on that dude but that dude it would turn out to be was actually doing his duty which was to protect the king he was with the king of course crunchy and crispy was also doing his duty doing in the sense that the queen is his duty and he was very much doing her <laughs> i feel like he was projecting a lot in this uh, episode crispy crunchy like he was saying a lot of the things that i think he felt for himself but he was just saying it to you know the other dude and just taking it out on him so now there has been two murders both of children, and an attempt on a queen's life. Yeah, war has begun. It is done. It's done. It it's done. Is Damon gonna be able to take in take Her Heron Hall? Well, book people don't say a word. <laughs> but a lot of these events are actually from Fire and Blood. I I have read the main series, but I have not read this one. I would like to, but I would like to see the show first. I don't know how many seasons there's going to be. It might be a while before they finish this. But the main f uh, series hasn't finished either, so. So we're still waiting on that one. I hope Georgie, Georgie, we all float down here, Georgie. You want a balloon, Georgie? Come on, Georgie, finish the books. But yeah, uh, no spoilers, please. But yeah, um, I'm loving this. I'm really, I really do. It's so, it's, it's really, it's interesting. It's good. Do let me know your thoughts thus far. And uh, yeah, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice...